In physics, an anion is a type of quasi-particle that occurs only in two-dimensional systems, with properties much less restricted than fermions and bosons. The operation of exchanging two identical particles may cause a global phase shift but cannot affect observables. Any once are generally classified as abelian or non-obelian. Obelian any ones have been detected and play a major role in the fractional quantum Hall effect. Non-abelian any ones have not been definitively detected although this is an active area of research. Abelian any ones. In space of three or more dimensions, elementary particles are either fermions or bosons, according to their statistical behavior. Fermions obey the Fermi-Dirac statistics while bosons obey the Bose-Einstein statistics. In the language of quantum mechanics this is formulated as the behavior of multi-particle states under the exchange of particles. This is in particular for a two-particle state with indistinguishable particles. Here the plus corresponds to the particles being bosons and the minus to the particles being fermions. In two-dimensional systems, however, quasi-particles can be observed that are base statistics ranging continuously between Fermi-Dirac and Bose-Einstein statistics, as was first shown by John Magna Linart and Jan Myheim of the University of Oslo in 1977. In our above example of two particles this looks as follows with I the imaginary unit and theta a real number. This is an application of Euler's formula and can produce any unit complex number. In the case theta equals pi we recover the Fermi-Dirac statistics and in the case theta equals zero the Bose-Einstein statistics. In between we have something different. Frank Wilkesy coined the term anion to describe such particles, since they can have any phase when particles are interchanged. We also may use theta equals 2 pi s with particle spin quantum number s, with s being integer for bosons, half integer for fermions, so that or at an edge. Fractional quantum Hall effect any once are confined to move in one space dimension. Mathematical models of one-dimensional any once provide a base of the commutation relations shown above. Just as the fermion and boson wave functions in a three-dimensional space are just one-dimensional representations of the permutation group, the anionic wave functions in a two-dimensional space are just one-dimensional representations of the braid group. Anionic statistics must not be confused with parastatistics which describes statistics of particles whose wave functions are higher dimensional representations of the permutation group. Topological equivalence that the homotopy classes of paths is relevant hints at a more subtle insight. Recall that the Feynman path integral can be motivated from expanding the propagator using a method called time slicing, in which time is discretized. In non-homotopic paths one cannot get from any point at one time slice to any other point at the next time slice. This means that we can consider a homotopic equivalence class of paths to have different weighting factors. So it can be seen that the topological notion of equivalence comes from a study of the Feynman path integral. For a more transparent way of seeing that the homotopic notion of equivalence is the right one to use, see Aharon of Bohm effect. Experiment Daniel Suey and Horst Stormer discovered the fractional quantum Hall effect in 1982. The mathematics developed by Linus and Myheim proved to be useful to Bertrand Halperin at Harvard University in explaining aspects of it. Frank Wilkzeek, Dan Arovis, and Robert Schrieffer verified this statement in 1985 with an explicit calculation that predicted that particles existing in these systems are in fact any once. In 2005 a group of physicists at Stony Brook University constructed a quasi-particle interferometer, detecting the patterns caused by interference of any once which were interpreted to suggest that any once are real, rather than just a mathematical construct. However, these experiments remain controversial and are not fully accepted by the community.
with developments in semiconductor technology meaning that the deposition of thin two-dimensional layers is possible, for example in sheets of graphene, the long-term potential to use the properties of any once in electronics is being explored, non-abelian any once. In 1988, Jörg Froelich showed that it was valid under the spin statistics theorem for the particle exchange to be monoidal. In particular, this can be achieved when the system exhibits some degeneracy, so that multiple distinct states of the system have the same configuration of particles. Then an exchange of particles can contribute not just a phase change, but can send the system into a different state with the same particle configuration. Particle exchange then corresponds to a linear transformation on this subspace of degenerate states. When there is no degeneracy, this subspace is one-dimensional and so all such linear transformations commute. When there is degeneracy and this subspace has higher dimension, then these linear transformations need not commute. Gregory Moore, Nicholas Reed, and C.O. Gangwen pointed out that non-abelian statistics can be realized in the fractional quantum Hall effect. While at first non-abelian any once were generally considered a mathematical curiosity, physicists began pushing toward their discovery when Alexei Kitev showed that non-abelian any once could be used to construct a topological quantum computer. As of 2012, no experiment has conclusively demonstrated the existence of non-abelian any once although promising hints are emerging in the study of the new equals 5 halves. FQHE state, experimental evidence of non-abelian any once, although not yet conclusive, was presented in October, 2013. Topological basis, in more than two dimensions, the spin statistics theorem states that any multi-particle state of indistinguishable particles has to obey either Bose-Einstein or Fermi-Dirac, statistics. For any d greater than 2, the Lie groups so and Poincaré have Z2 as their first homotopy group. Because the cyclic group Z2 is composed of two elements, only two possibilities remain. The situation changes in two dimensions. Here the first homotopy group of so and also Poincaré is Z. This means that spin is not the universal cover. It is not simply connected. In detail, there are projective representations of the special orthogonal group SO which do not arise from linear representations of SO, or of its double cover, the spin group SPIN. Any once so evenly complementary representations of spin polarization by a charged particle. This concept also applies to non-relativistic systems. The relevant part here is that the spatial rotation group is so has an infinite first homotopy group. This fact is also related to the braid groups well known in knot theory. The relation can be understood when one considers the fact that in two dimensions the group of permutations of two particles is no longer the symmetric group S2 but rather the braid group B2. The essential point is that one braid can wind around the other one, an operation that can be performed infinitely often, and clockwise as well as counterclockwise. A very different approach to the stability decoherence problem in quantum computing is to create a topological quantum computer with any once quasi-particles used as threads and relying on braid theory to form stable logic gates.